Hello everyone! In this video I will be showing you how you can take your sims from this to this using the magic of custom content and default replacements. This is a fresh install of Strangetown with zero custom content and this is how some of the Strangetown pre-mades will look whenever you load the base game. The Sims 2 was released back in 2004 and compared to what we had previously seen in The Sims 1, these graphics are amazing. However, The Sims 2 is now 18 years old and these Sims require some TLC. I will show you how to replace everything you see here including skin, eyes, makeup, hair and clothing and we'll make sure to link everything I show you in the description box below. In The Sims 2 there are only 4 skin tones which you may think sounds ridiculous but remember that this game is 18 years old. Skin 1 is Light which can be seen here on Erin Beaker and General Buzz Grunt. Skin 2 is Tan which can be seen here on Tank Grunt. Skin 3 is Medium which can be seen here on Kristen Lost and AJ Lona. And finally Skin 4 is Dark which can be seen here on Ophelia Nygmos. There are lots of default replacement skins to choose from but in my personal game I like to play with Maxis Match. I use the Honey Honey Skin Blend by Lilith Sims and this is the skin that you will see me use in my Pleasant View series. When downloading any of these items I show you in this video you will want to look for the link that is titled Default Replacement, Default or All Defaults as we are just replacing what is already in the game. So for example the Honey Honey Skin Blend Default Replacement link can be found here at the bottom of the listing. You can download them as separate custom items but in my personal experience I have only ever used default replacements as I find them a lot easier to manage. One of the reasons that Honey Honey is one of my go-to Maxis Match skins is due to the fact that Lilith has also made skins for all of the Supernaturals in the game. So if you like Maxis Match custom content and play with Supernaturals, I would definitely recommend this skin. If Maxis Match isn't your thing and you would like a more realistic skin, I would recommend the Party for One Skin Blend by Dread Pirate. Like the Honey Honey Skin Blend, this set gives you a replacement for the four normal skin tones as well as a replacement skin for each of the Supernaturals. If you don't like the look of either of these skins, then you can find a ton of Maxis Match or Semi and Realistic Human skins on the Sims 2 default database and they also have separate listings for all of your Supernatural Sims. This is how Erin Beaker and General Buzz look with the Honey Honey Skin 1 installed. Here is Tank Grunt who is modelling Skin 2. This is Kristen Lost and AJ Lona who are modelling Skin 3. And finally this is Skin 4 on Ophelia Nygmos. Now that we have our new skin installed we can move on to the eyes. In my opinion the default eyes in The Sims 2 are one of the only features that did not age that well and they look pretty soulless. Like all default replacements there are many to choose from but if you are looking for a Maxis Match option I would suggest using Poppet's Plain and Simple Eyes by Poppet Sims. An added bonus is this set also comes with a matching alien eye and you will have seen me use these in my game on my Pleasant View Sims. If you are looking for a more realistic option I would recommend the Curious Bee Magic Theatre recolors and like Poppet's eyes these also come with a matching alien swatch. This is how Ophelia looks now with Poppet's eyes and the Honey Honey Skin Blend installed. Now you can really appreciate her beautiful green eyes and these replacements do such an amazing job at making your sims look more alive. For your reference, these are what the brown eyes look like on AJ Lona, the grey eyes on General Buzz, and finally the dark blue eyes on Kristen Lost. Default replacing hair in The Sims 2 can be a complex task that requires more work but I assure you it is completely worth it. When it comes to replacing hair you will need to make sure that you find hair, eyebrows and facial hair that will match and look good together in game. If you want to default replace the hairs that came with the game a good place to start would be the new hair system bulk default hair upload by Spooky Muffin. This hair system was created by MikeXX2 and you will find that this file includes a replacement for nearly all of the hairs that came in game including matching eyebrows and facial hair so you don't have to worry about downloading these separately. Since Spooky Muffin has replaced nearly all of the hairs in game there should only be a few that you need to search for and you can do this on Keone's Tumblr. If you are ever unsure which hair download you are looking at on Keone's site you can use these pictures in the corner which will show you what the hair looks like in Vanilla Sims 2 and it will also tell you the name of that hair. So for example this one is replacing A-Line and the image in the right hand corner is what the hair looks like in Vanilla Sims 2. It is also worth noting that you can only have one default replacement per hair so be careful not to download two replacements for the same hair. 
If you do not want to use the bulk file, are just looking to replace a specific hair or would just like to have a peek at what other hairs are available, I would recommend going to the Sims 2 default database. All the hairs have been split into male and female and it is very easy to click on a hair and see what replacements are available. So for example, if I click on Long Simple, which is a base game hair, I can see all of the available defaults and pick the one I like the most. In my game, I use this hair on Dina Caliente in my Pleasant View series and I have downloaded this default by Keone. Other hair creators I would highly recommend include Malvin Sims, Corny Regans and Louisa P and I will leave a link to their tumblers below. If you do choose to default replace your hair, I would suggest using Pleasant Sims hair spreadsheet which can be found on her website. To edit this spreadsheet, you will need to save a copy to your Google Drive and this will help you keep track of your progress and help you avoid accidentally downloading two separate defaults for the same hair. If you do not want to default your hairs, you can completely hide them and just download custom hair separately. To do this, you will need to go to Mod The Sims and find the Hide All Maxis Clothing and Hair Mod by Geordie and download each of the hair hiders and put these in your downloads folder. This will then hide all of the Maxis hairs in the catalogues and your Sims will only be able to use the custom hairs that you download. If your Sims already have a Maxis hair when you install the hair hiders, do not worry as they will just keep their Maxis hair until you go in and change it manually. Lastly, if you would like your male Sims to have body hair, I would suggest using Inky Fish's body hair overlays and you can download the fixed version here and I will show you a little later in this video how these can be applied to your Sims. Now that we have our replacement hair installed, here is what Erin and General Buzz look like with their updated hair and eyebrows and they are completely transformed and look so so much better. Here is how Kristen Lost and AJ Nona look with their new hair and eyebrows and finally this is Ophelia Nygmos with her new hair and eyebrows. Next up we will be looking at skin details. In my game I typically like to put freckles on my sims with lighter skin or if they are a natural redhead. The best combination of freckles I have found are the layerable freckles by Voyelle on Mod The Sims which I use alongside the body freckle overlays by DD Sims and Epi Sims on Tumblr. These are very natural, subtle freckles and they look very beautiful in game. For wrinkles I use the subtle wrinkles by Nopki which can be found on Mod The Sims. These are a great option as this set comes with a lot of variations to give the appearance that your adult and elder sims are aging which adds a touch of realism to your game. Lastly, for skin details, I use these tattoo overlays by DD Sims. The only tattoos we have in The Sims 2 are linked to certain items of clothing, which has always bugged me, but these give you the ability to add tattoos to your Sims no matter what outfit they are wearing. There are currently 9 sets on DD's Tumblr, and I will show you very soon how amazing these look in game. I would highly recommend that you default replace the makeup that comes with The Sims 2, as some of the lipsticks and eyeshadows are a little outdated. In my game, I use these default replacements by Moopy, but if you don't like the look of these, you can find an array of makeup on The Sims 2 default database or on Mod The Sims. You can also download custom makeup, but for this video, I will just be showing you my favourites that I use in my game. My first item is the Lashes for Males by Anva on Mod The Sims. This set comes with four eyelashes for your male Sims, one for each of the skin tones. I also use Eyelashes 101 by Bruno for my female sims which you can again find on Mod The Sims. This set comes with 12 eyelashes and they look really good in game. Lastly I use Ava's Nails by Ava on Mod The Sims. There are 42 different swatches to choose from and I love using these on my female sims to give them a little more personality. Now that we have all of our skin details and makeup installed, you can see that our Sims makeup has been replaced. So Ophelia here has this very bright red lip, which I personally don't think suits her vibe at all. Instead of sending Ophelia to a mirror, I am going to use a mod called Closet Gussy Up by Midge the Tree to go in and change her appearance. If you do not already have this mod in your game, I would highly recommend you download it as it makes changing your Sims appearance and clothing a lot easier. I'm going to click on Ophelia, choose gussy up and then change appearance. I am going to give her some makeup that I feel suits her personality a bit more. So for example, this black lipstick and some black eyeshadow. I am also going to give her some eyelashes, which can be found under eyeliner. Ophelia seems to me like the type of teenager to wear nail polish. So I am going to go to the glasses tab and give her some black nail polish. In case you were wondering, these nail polishes work alongside glasses. So you don't need to worry about any conflicts if your sim wears both. 
We have now moved over to General Buzz and I plan to give him some freckles, a few wrinkles, some body hair and also some eyelashes. Anva's male eyelashes can be found under eyeliner in makeup. If you hover over them, you will see that each one corresponds to a skin tone. So in this case, I will give General Buzz the light eyelashes since he has the light skin tone. Freckles can also be found under blush and I have four options here which I can layer to make him look more unique. Wrinkles can also be found under blush and can be used alongside freckles. Since General Buzz is a little older, I am going to give him some forehead wrinkles since he does have the stress of dealing with his three boys. Lastly, I will be applying some body hair to General Buzz. To do this, I will need to buy the body hair controller which can be found in buy mode, miscellaneous, all and it is this item here which looks like a crate. With General Buzz selected, I am going to click on the crate and choose add body hair. I am then going to pick set one and you will see that this hair has now been applied to his body. The body hair's color will automatically match your sim's hair color and you can just delete the controller when you are done. Our final sim we will be working on is Kristen Lost. Kristen in my game is typically a little edgier than her roommates and I feel like Kristen would have a tattoo. To find Dee Dee's tattoo overlays go to buy mode, miscellaneous, all and you will see various posters listed, one for each tattoo set. In my game, I have four sets installed and I am going to purchase the witchy tattoo overlay poster to use on Kristen. With Kristen selected, I am going to click on the poster and choose add tattoo. I am then going to pick right sleeve doodles and as you can see, Kristen now has a complete sleeve of tattoos on her right arm. I can now just delete the controller and the tattoos will remain on Kristen unless I choose to manually remove them. Now that we have covered a majority of our default replacements, the last item we have left is clothing. Unfortunately, unlike hair, there is no default bulk file that you can download for clothing, so you will need to replace everything manually one by one. I found all of my default replacement clothes using the Sims 2 default database. It is a great resource as it breaks down each of the outfits by gender, age and category, which in my opinion makes this process a lot less overwhelming. If you are new to default replacements and are just starting out, I would suggest just replacing the outfits in game that you really can't stand. For example, I really hate the slob outfit. If I wanted to replace this, I just need to click on the image and some much cuter options will be listed for me to choose from. In my personal game, I currently use this one by Ello Sims, which is way nicer than the original slob outfit. All of the clothing I use in my game is either from Ello Sims or Lottie Sims, so I will link their tumblers for you below. Like the hairs, you can only have one default per outfit and I would suggest using Pleasant Sims' clothing spreadsheet, which can be found on her website. To edit this spreadsheet, you will again need to save a copy to your Google Drive and this will help you to keep track of the clothing you have downloaded and help you avoid accidentally downloading two separate defaults for the same outfit. This is what Erin and General Buzz look like in my game with the default replacement clothing installed. Since these items have been defaulted, you can see these outfits do not really match, so I will be buying them some new clothes using the closet gussy up mod. I'm going to click on Erin, choose gussy up and then buy clothes and I know exactly which outfit I am going to pick for her. This dress in my opinion suits Erin a lot more, so I will purchase this one and set this as her new everyday outfit. I have gone through and updated the outfits for all of my sims and these are the finished product. It's shocking what a difference these defaults make and I think these sims look amazing. I hope you enjoyed this overview of what I use in my game and that I have inspired some of you to go out and find your own default replacements for your game. As I previously mentioned, I plan to make a further video on my neighborhood custom content and I also have another Let's Play in the works in addition to my Pleasant View series, so please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.